to my channel. My name is Michelle and today we are going to do a practice against the wall. This is really helpful if you're having problems with your balance or if you just want a little extra support, the wall can feel really supportive. So all you're going to need for this practice is a wall and if you do have a mat, then grab your mat. Place your mat right up against the wall. Oh, you'll also need a yoga block for this practice. So grab your yoga block and let's get started. All right, yogis, from here, you're just going to place your block to the side, maybe a little bit away from the wall on the highest setting. You'll stand with your feet hip distance apart and parallel. Root your feet into the floor and then see if you can just lean parts of your body into the wall. So for me, it's my bottom and my upper back is touching against the wall and then and the back of my head. And then from here, you'll close your eyes or soften your gaze and just start to notice all the parts of yourself that are connected to the wall. And just start to notice all the parts of you that are disconnected from the wall. Breathe deeply here with awareness. Each breath in and watch each breath out. Feel the rise and fall of your abdomen and the support of the wall behind you. As you inhale, let's reach the arms out and up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, take the arms down by your, your thighs. Again, inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, down towards the feet. One more time, inhale, reach up. And this time you'll exhale, fold. So you might have to walk your feet a little bit further away from the wall. You might wanna take your hands under blocks or if your hands easily touch the floor, then that's fine too. Maybe there's a little bend in the knees. For me, I'm sitting my butt against the wall and then folding, relaxing the upper body down towards the lower body here. So the back of the neck is long. The head is heavy. As you inhale next, lift the chest halfway, flat back. As you exhale, fold over the legs. Again, inhale, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, root down through the feet, come all the way up to rise. Exhale, hands come down by your side. Now let's take the right arm up overhead, inhale, and exhale, side bend. Try to lean your body back into the wall. Breathe through this right side of your body. Inhale, come back up to center, release your right hand, reach the left arm up, inhale, tall. Exhale, side bend here to the right. Breathe here through the left side of the body. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, release it down. All right, from here, you're going to turn to face the wall. Now take your arms out wide. Palms will face in towards the wall and then bend one elbow as you start to turn to one side. Just stretching out through the shoulders here. The chest. Deep in the breath. Inhale, come back to center. Extend that one arm and the other arm. And start to turn here. So I'm turning, twisting from my hips or really from the torso there. But one hip is to the wall. Breathe. Inhale, come back to center. From here, you're facing the wall. You're just going to trace your hands up the wall and back down on your exhale. Again, inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, arms go out and down. One more time, out and up. Exhale, out and down. All right, this time, take your arms up. You're going to walk your feet away from the wall. And then start to lean your chest towards the wall. Breathe here. 
This is like a puppy pose against the wall. If you want to try looking up at your hands, go for it, but make sure that it's not cranking the neck, not building tension there. Good. And then come back up. And from here, uh, we're going to do a warrior three. Now you can use the wall for support. So you're just going to take one hand to the wall and you're going to start to hinge forward from the waist and take that left foot back. Maybe reach the left arm forward. So try to find one diagonal line, or sorry, one <laughs> parallel line from the fingers to the left heel. There can be a little bend in this right knee that helps me stabilize in the pose. Breathe. And then come all the way up. Release and switch sides. Other hand can go to the wall. This is just for a little bit of balance support. You're gonna lift that right leg up and reach the right arm forward. See if you can keep the toes facing down towards the floor. Right fingers are reaching forward, deep in the breath. And then inhale, come back up. Nice work, exhale, release the hand. From here, you're going to step your feet wide. And you're coming into a warrior two. We're gonna start with the right toes forward and the left toes facing the long edge of your mat. Bend the right knee and reach your arms out to a T. So from here, just see if you can bring a little bit more awareness, kind of push your right knee towards the wall. Try to keep those shoulders stacked right over the hips. And then breathe. Glue the outer edge of that back foot into the floor and feel this pelvic floor upliftment here. Good. Now straighten out through the right leg, reach forward with the right hand, and then tip down. You can use this block up against the wall if you want. And then reach the left arm up and see if you can take the back of the hand against the wall. And just breathe here. Good, look down, press into the feet, come all the way up to stand, and then bend your right knee again, warrior two. This time the right forearm's going under the thigh and the left arm's gonna go up and over. Now lean the shoulder and the arm back into the wall, even this right knee, kind of press it back a little bit. So use the support of the wall here to hold you in this pose. and strong on your inhale come on up and then we're moving into half moon this is really nice to help us balance in half moon so you're going to take your block a little bit in front of your foot so for me I'm just going to step back because I don't have very much space here you want to make sure the hand is just under the shoulder and then lift your left leg up so now I'm leaning my whole body besides that right foot into the wall the right foot's probably I don't know four inches five inches away from the wall and then lean back been feeling that shoulder blade touch the wall here. Deep in the breath. On your inhale, let's come all the way back up and we'll switch sides. So if you're using a block, place the block on the other side. Walk your feet out wide. Left toes are gonna face the block and right toes are gonna face the long edge of your mat. You're bending the left knee and come into warrior two here. Breathe, maybe look over the left shoulder and pull the shoulder blades into the wall, hands and arms into the wall. Even that left knee is pressing back. Good, on your inhale, straight into the left leg. You'll reach and tip forward with that left hand. And again, you can take the block up against the wall here and reach the right arm up. Lean the whole torso, even the, the arm and the shoulder, 
Lean that all back into the wall here. Maybe look up at that top hand, or if it's better for you, look forward or look down. Nice, you guys, you're going to come all the way back up. And then from here, bend the left knee. We'll take it into side angle. Left forearm comes down. Right bicep comes right up and over your ear. You can see there's a nice long diagonal line here from the outer edge of the foot through to the right fingertips. Just breathe. Lean it back into the wall. Inhale, come all the way back up, and we'll move into half moon. So again, set it up so that blocks a little bit in front of your foot. Your foot's maybe four inches away from the wall, and your block's uh, more towards the pinky side of your foot. Reach the right arm up, lean everything back. See if you can get your back leg straight in line with the hip. Flex that foot. Great job. And inhale, come all the way back up. From here, here, you'll take your feet wide. If you need that block, take it out in front. Take your feet wider than your hips. Look towards the ceiling as you exhale. Bring your sit bones into the wall. Hinge forward from the waist. Nice swap back. Maybe taking your hands under that block or on the floor, lengthen the spine. And then exhale, fold deeper. Again, you wanna lean. Lean your bottom into the wall. And then shift a little bit of weight in towards your toes. Make sure your toes are slightly turned inward. That will protect your knees. And then lengthen through the spine. Look up. And we will come all the way down onto our bottom. So just kind of walk your feet in. And then to come onto the wall, I think it's easiest to take one hip to the wall. You go to one side, and then you're gonna lift that right leg up, lift the left leg up, and you'll want to scoot yourself in so your, your bottom is up against the wall as close as you can. From here, it might feel nice just to have your hands on your abdomen. Breathe into your hands. Start to calm the heart rate down from all those standing poses. And from here, start to walk your feet out wide, as wide as you can. Let the legs just kind of fall here in this wide-legged position against the wall. Maybe close your eyes or soften your gaze as you allow everything to relax further and further with each breath. From here, gently take your legs back together. You'll bend the knees and take the soles of the feet together. Knees out wide and you can gently, gently press the, the knees towards the wall. You can see that the inside arches of my feet are kind of opening up, like I'm opening up a book here. And uh, gently press the knees towards the wall or rather the thighs. I don't want you to press on the knee joint. Just breathe here. Try to keep your head and shoulders relaxed. And then from here, draw your knees together, take the feet on the floor, or on the wall, and then walk your feet up. 
you're gonna cross that right ankle over the left thigh and then if you can walk your left foot down the wall a bit make sure that right foot is flexed and if you want you can gently press the the knee or the thigh away from the body here with your right hand You can always extend the left leg up longer if it's too intense. Good, and then let's release that right foot to the wall. Cross the left ankle over the right thigh, flex that foot. And same thing here, for a deeper sensation, you'd walk the foot towards uh, you and for less sensation walk the foot away from from your body Good and then from here release your left foot now we're gonna come into a semi-inversion, and if this isn't good for you, just end with your feet up the wall. Otherwise, um, you're going to press your feet up against the wall, lift your hips up, and then bend your elbows, walk your feet up the wall, and just have your hands at your lower back for some support. If you wanna come into full shoulder stand, then extend your legs up towards the ceiling, but it's really not necessary here if you don't want to. Keep the gaze straight up at the ceiling. Don't look around in this pose. And then lower it super slow, one vertebrae at a time. You come all the way down. Allow your feet to rest back up the wall. Relax your feet so they're not flexed or pointed. They're just completely re relaxing. And take your hands to your body, maybe one hand to your heart, one hand to your abdomen. Breathe into your hands. Take a little time here for some self-care. Legs up the wall here is so, so beneficial for our body. It's reversing the blood flow down towards the heart. It's helping to clear or get rid of any toxins that you're still holding on to. It's helpful for varicose veins and circulation and immunity. It helps to raise your immunities. So stay here as long as you can. Maybe pause this video so you can stay here just a little bit longer. But if you need to move on with your day, then bend your knees. Maybe hug your knees in towards your chest and then take yourself to one side. You can just rest your head in your arms. And then make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Draw your hands together in front of your heart. Thank you so much for joining me. Please share with your friends if you liked this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications so that you're notified first when my newest videos come out. And leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you, my friends. Namaste.